but cover the whole earth. Actually, Will, stories from lots of cultures confirm the Bible's account of a worldwide flood. Also, a global flood explains how animals living on one continent were suddenly buried onto another. <laughs> and such a traumatic catastrophe would also cause layers of sedimentary rock to form places like the Grand Canyon. And hold on, the Grand Canyon was formed over millions of years. Actually, Will, according to Bible genealogy, the Earth is only about 6,000 years old, and so you honestly believe. Everything started with the story of Adam and Eve. Well, the book of Acts states, from one man, God made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole Earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and knew the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that men would seek him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. We believe the Bible will. Do you have another eyewitness account that tells a different story? Eyewitness account? Yeah. What do we know about the Bible, guys? The Bible was written by 40 different men who were eyewitnesses to the event. And it was written over a period of 1,500 years by writers from every background you can imagine. Yet their testimonies agree. Believe it or not, Will, the geography and the history of the Bible line up with scientific evidence. Evidence, huh? I think true scientists and evolutionists who built our museums and wrote our textbooks might disagree. I'm sure they would, but many of their conclusions are based off of guesses. Yet creation itself is evidence of God's intentional design. Romans 1.20 says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made. So the people are without excuse. Well, I would love to discuss this more with you, but if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to Noah. Sure, get back to your little story. You were talking about God's specific instructions for the ark. Right. Thanks, Jenny. And I'm praying that God gives us specific instructions on how to build up our Bible club. Jenny? Well, we need a place to meet so that we don't bug our parents and to attract more kids in the community. Come to flood the ark attract the animals. Until next week, let's pray for more ideas so others can come to know Jesus. Bye, guys. See you all next week. I saw pictures of Noah's ark at my old preschool. All the animals were sort of crammed in. You mean like the cartoon picture? Well, that's not really how it was. Scientists have recently calculated that the ark could still float while carrying 70,000 animals. What about dinosaurs? Well, the ones on the ark were most likely babies. Oh, isn't that sweet? Can you imagine baby dinosaurs? <laughs> wow, how do you guys know so much about Bible days? Well, you know, church and stuff. And Eden gets us to study for the Bible club every week. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Lydia. You're probably missing your church back home. I'm sure you'll like our church, and the kids at Bible Club are like family. Sure. Eden, when you were talking about Noah, I kept looking at that tree. Maybe it could be a cool tree house for the Bible Club. <laughs> Simon, that's a great idea! No way that would work. That tree won't hold. Well, it's got strong limbs and roots, and I could probably even get electricity to it. Man, I'm getting so many ideas. I've got to write them down. I wonder if Noah felt the same way when he was building the ark. Sure. Well, you challenge me to defend what I believe. I like that. Maybe I could watch you debate sometime. I think you just did. Yeah, sure. I gotta go. I'm late for a debate team meeting where we discuss real issues later. Later. <laughs> this looks amazing! Do you really think that we can pull it off? Well, it'll take some work, but I think this is our answer. Wow, Simon. I had no idea we had a modern-day Noah at our club. And thank you.
for helping me out with Will today. No problem. Tell me, Maddie, do rules mean nothing to this family? Must you cause chaos to this entire neighborhood? Miss Bird, I cannot imagine that you're overreacting. Surely there must be a fire or flood raging through the streets. It's your trash again. Oh, yes. The trash. Raising its smelly head once again. Growl. Now, Miss Bird, what's the matter? According to neighborhood regulations, trash cans should sit six inches from the curb with handles facing east. Yours sits at eight inches with handles clearly facing southeast. It's a violation, an abomination, a disgrace. <laughs> but I set them out, and they were perfectly in line with Miss B B Birds. Don't worry, Miss Bird. I'll go reset them right now. Well, isn't either all personal Wonder Woman saving trash day? Oh, I didn't realize you had company. Yes, they're my sister's children. They'll be with us for a while. You know, some people should really think twice about having children and adding more chaos and trash for others to clean up. Now, who you calling trash? You won't hear it. <clears throat> Miss Bird, we will take care of our own chaos, thank you. Why don't you tend to your trash on your side of the street? Well, actually, I will need help putting up some new flower boxes. Eden will do fine. Yes, just for you. And you know, you can pray to God whenever and however you want. He is always listening. May your love abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, that you may be able to discern what is best, remaining pure and blameless until the day of Christ Jesus, being filled with the fruit of righteousness to the glory and praise of God. In Jesus' name, amen.